What's up, Boulder, Colorado? How do you? How are your kids? My kids are great. One just came in, uh, Shador, the quarterback, to make sure all these linemen are coming in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not checking on your well-being. He's, yeah, he's, he's checking, checking on, on his, his well-being. <laughs> Today, we've got something different for you. Our main story is about Coach Prime almost completely breaking college football this year. Plus, we're going to talk about the major damage to Shador's ranking and a couple other great stories. So grab you a green tea today, sit back and get ready because this is the prime time for college football. Now, our first story today, we're going to talk about how Coach Prime came close to destroying college football. Now, I know you guys might be thinking there is no way Deion Sanders could have destroyed college football. Well, you may want to buckle up because we're going to run it back. This year, the Colorado Buffaloes ranked number three in overall total viewership. Now, this is according to the Nielsen rankings. Look at the teams below them. Teams like Georgia. Michigan, Tennessee is on there, Oregon, Texas, Florida State, Notre Dame. Now, this is how Coach Prime almost broke college football. These teams that we've mentioned are the power brokers of college football. The SEC and the Big Ten are absolutely terrified of the amount of viewers that Coach Prime got this year. Coach Prime was in a dead conference, and he was at a school that the power brokers thought was dead as well. And he still pulled more viewers than they did. And when you can go head-to-head with Alabama and Georgia, when you can go head-to-head against Ohio State and Michigan, when you can pull more viewers and generate more interest than them, you become a huge threat to the power brokers, essentially the people who run college football, the SEC and the Big Ten. Now, the winners of like 90% of the national titles since 2006 are the SEC and the Big Ten. You become a threat to take their recruits. You become a threat to take their advertising dollars. And in turn, if you get their recruits, you get their advertising dollars, you are left with their power as well. And once those power brokers figured out what was going on, they fought back. They couldn't have Colorado finishing as the most watched team, so they tried to bury them with awful game times. They tried to bury them on networks that most of us didn't have. We were streaming it on YouTube like we've talked about. It reminded us of the old Napster days. They tried to bury Colorado by not broadcasting the games nationally. And they also tried to bury Colorado by starting to attack them through the media. We said it was going to happen. Remember, guys, we said they love you at the start. They love you at the beginning. But then... As time goes on, the media will prop you up just to rip you down. How many times did we make a video this year talking about the traps that media members were setting for Coach Prime, whether it was national folks, whether it was ESPN or Fox or whomever, or local reporters, whether it be from Colorado's side or the opponent's side. They were scared to death of what Coach Prime was building and doing this season. And I'm just telling you, next year, when they're in the Big 12, and ESPN is the one that owns a lot of these rights, and those are the channels that you see them on a lot, and Fox owns some of those rights, and they are on national TV every single week, what do you guys think that that's going to look like? If you took Colorado's average for the year and spread it out over the games that don't count for those numbers it would be astronomical to see the final results. Unfortunately, we don't get that because of the way that they staggered the numbers and the way that they hid the buffs. But wait for next year. Wait to see what that looks like. 
What do you guys think about that? We ask you all the time. Hit the comments. Let's have conversation. I love looking in and seeing you guys going back and forth, sometimes cordially, sometimes not. But hit the comments. Let me know what you guys think about Coach Prime beating down the doors to the places where the power brokers are hiding behind. Let's talk about that down below. Now, we're going to talk about Shador falling in the rankings. Now, these aren't draft rankings. This is not recruiting rankings. Obviously, he's already in college. But no, he's falling in the family rankings. Now, Coach Prime was recently on the Rich Eisen show talking about his kids' rankings. And let's listen to that clip now. Well, I mean, Shador's <laughs> staying, Dion. Doesn't that? Shador is, but, you know, behind the curtains, uh, he's not He's not sunning like he should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, never heard that used as a verb before. <laughs> never. Yeah. That's a first for me. Hey, hey Shador out there. Tell him, come here. <laughs> he's not sunning as well as he's not, he should he's be. He's not sunning. He's not sunning. He, sometimes he thinks he's the father. Oh, he, really? He, yes. Okay. So he's trying to plan a vacation and his stipulations for the vacation, like you you can stay with Shiloh, you know, the boys' vacation. You stay yeah. with Shiloh and me and Bucky stay together. Why do we have to get separate homes? Why? Oh. Right. Like what? Oh, dad, we're too old to be sitting in the same. I know what you go. I know what you're gonna do. No, that'll down. Those, that'll get oh, you, you know, those kind of things. That'll get you downgraded. That'll get you downgraded. I totally understand that. All right. And you know, picking up the check, picking up the bill, and stuff like that. He's he's a uh, handsomely paid, handsomely okay. care of <laughs> nil. Right. Yeah. So it, it, yeah, he wants the nil and the daddy stuff. Okay, I just pretty much figured that. No, I, I'm not gonna lie. This segment had me cracking up. We've talked about Coach Prime's humor. We've talked about how funny he is in just about every situation. I loved when Dion said he's not sunning like he should be. Listen, we were all Shador's age at one time. We all thought that we knew absolutely everything. We all thought that our parents were idiots. Some of us, that happens younger. Some of us, it happens later and then we usually grow up and you start to say some of the things that your parents said and you start to think some of the ways that your parents thought not in every situation but from time to time how often do you catch yourself saying man i sounded like my dad there when i said that i sounded like my mom he said he's not sunning like he should be i think it's hilarious to watch the coach prime and shador sanders dynamic on the national stage and i know Sh i know his other sons are there i know they're very involved with media. I know Shiloh's there. I know all of that. But there's nothing like a quarterback and a head coach. And there's nothing like seeing those two interact, those two go back and forth, whether it's during a game, practices, camps, workouts, or when Coach Prime or Shador are talking about the other one in interviews or what have you. It's a ton of fun to watch. And if you haven't seen that Rich Eisen show, you really need to go check it out. Just search Rich Eisen and Coach Prime. It'll come right up. Next, let's talk about Coach Prime's thoughts on signing day and the NIL. Now, again, in the same interview, Coach Prime was chatting with Rich Eisen and was asked whether or not he likes this current system. Let's listen to that. Do you like this system? Do you like it? Because a lot of your colleagues are not really keen on portals and and and, well, and everything else and how this is this, this is like free agency this is like a free it, agency month right now this is free agency for us right and high school is the draft that's 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 what it is some some schools are better suited with the draft because they have more collective uh money mm -hmm. to extend but it's getting to the point now man it's 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 pay-per-view it's it's pay per view. All you have to do is look at some. Except for Washington, Washington did a great job, and they are well coached. Um, they were, were a machine this year. The top schools are the ones who's who's who has the biggest budgets. Man, it's they're in there like NAS. It's getting like NASCAR. Now I know this isn't going to shock you, but Coach Prime is absolutely right here. The teams who do the best on signing day 
are the ones with the largest NIL collectives. Coach Prime is an amazing recruiter, and he will absolutely crush the transfer portal again this year. He'll most likely finish with the number one class. In fact, scratch that. I'm putting my name on it. I think that you can write me down for him finishing with the number one class. But the truth of the matter is this. Colorado's NIL has got to get much better to be able to take the next step. Signing day was not something that I think any Buffs fans would say was amazing for Colorado. I think it may have been somewhat lackluster. But we've continued to tell you guys, we think that some of you out there need to step up and need to support. Listen, Colorado's collective is not hard to find. Coach Prime's not hard to find. We see the numbers in the analytics on YouTube. They tell us way more about who's watching and why they're watching than most other platforms. And we know that there are a lot of people with a lot of money in Boulder who could and should step up and support. And if you want to see this economy continue to grow, if you want to see this team continue to grow, if you want to see this program continue to grow, I would encourage you to consider doing so. Now, it's a joint effort. I don't expect one person out there to go out and just bankroll this entire organization. But I think we all need to step up if we want to do our part with helping Coach Prime build the absolute best product that he possibly can. I think Coach Prime's an amazing recruiter. I think he's more real with most of the kids than most people are. I don't think he sugarcoats things. I don't think he just tells them what they want to hear. But as amazing of a recruiter as he is, I don't know that he can out-recruit seven figures. And some of these kids in this NIL world are getting seven figures. And I know that a lot of people say, oh, they're just greedy kids. They just That's life-changing money for some kids. That is insane life-changing money that they might not have made in 20 years. Getting seven figures does not make a kid greedy. But as good of a recruiter as I think that Coach Prime is, I don't think he's a good enough recruiter to out-recruit seven figures or even a lot of times six figures. If you're in Boulder... And you have the access, you have the means, we got to step it up. Get in touch with Colorado's Collective, get in touch with Coach Prime's team, and reach out and see what you can do to be part of the solution. Hey, listen, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for letting us do something a little bit different today. Thank you guys for letting us talk your ear off a little bit. We are hoping that you're having a wonderful holiday season. Christmas just a couple of days away. We'll keep bringing you content between now and then. Maybe even have something special for you on Christmas. Fingers crossed. Appreciate you guys as always. Thank you for watching the prime time for college football.